years to push them back, but we did. What was once a prosperous river trade, the Mississippi, is now the front line. The eastern states supply the river states, and what's left of the UA live out their meager days self-policing. What is the West hiding? Nobody really knows for sure. But we're alive. And this is the new frontier. Hello everybody and welcome back to We're Alive Frontier. We have quite an adventure ahead of us, so let's get right down to it, shall we? <laughs> How you feeling, everybody? Nervous. Great. <laughs> yeah. Feeling for escape. Asher's, uh, Asher's got a little bit of some superficial puncture wounds. I'm okay. Sitting on his forearms. I'm fine. But hey, you took a baseball bat like a champ. Thank oh, you. Good. Thank right. you. Right? You right, 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 right in there. Right straight up, like. like uh, at the same time, it seems like you either have bleeding out, dying, or dead raiders in your hands. <laughs> And unfortunately, they have managed to move the hand cart that was carrying your vital supplies from the rail driver. Just some of them. Some of them. Um, taking them down the rail a little bit. So farther away from the rail cart than one it was. But because of much of your efforts, they didn't get terribly far. 15 to 20 feet. Yes. My efforts. All you. <laughs> so man. clearly you. You, uh, you rattled. Out of them. You rattled that cage so loud. <laughs> too scary. You rattled that cage. That the cat came coming. Oh no! Ooh. This is not my fault. <laughs> oh, no. it was so a team effort. when we last left you, you had finished off the raiders who were unloading the rail driver, claiming your goods for their own. Pushing the cart down about 15, 20 feet down the line, you heard the large <laughs> scream of one of the infected, who is standing as a sentry, looking to see where all of the commotion came from. And right now, she seems to be the only one peering with an aura of the morning sun kind of pushing Aww. behind her. So she is essentially standing there on the top of the second box car next to the service station. And at this point, I have to ask you a very important question. What do you want to do? Spin and shoot. I'm on top of the thing. Let me get at her. Well, so, well I believe we actually have two unresolved roles here. Ah, yes. that's right. Your degrees of success Go still there. So we can do this a few ways. Um, if you would like, since essentially this encounter is all for all and purposes with the Raiders done, but mm -hmm. we're beginning a new one. Mm -hmm. um, I will allow you to spend degrees of success to do things outside of your actions. Or if you'd like, we can simply turn those into survival points that I can then take from you. It will add to your pool if you wish, and you can spend that in the form of gear, like maybe some stuff that the Raiders had on them, mm -hmm. uh, or however you wish. Can I suggest something? <clears throat> it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that I should get the rail driver going. Like, start fueling it up, get okay. it going, I agree. and then start getting our shit back in there, and then you guys can take care of this infected so we can get the hell out. Word. So, All right. can, you know? can you use your degrees of success to kind of speed run to get over there? You know what? In fact, since you have degree, how many did you have? One or two? Two. Two, resolved. Uh, I will start contributing towards the rail driver getting up and running. Thank you. Jenny basically hears this thing, and her first instinct is what? Get that boiler going. Let's, let's get this train moving. All right. Choo -choo. Yeah. <laughs> so she's running over to the rail driver. You let us know you're doing things. that. Yeah. 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 I'm okay. getting this going. There's no point in being quiet anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And how about like, you, Wraith? Is there any thing you'd like to resolve your degree, your leftover degrees of success with? Yeah. I mean, I'd like to add them to be able to dash towards the, the hand cart. Yeah. And try to get on it and survey to see what the most, is there anything that I think is just super critical Great. on okay. that cart? Okay. So then I will 100 allow you to spend that last degree of success in order to reposition yourself. Well, I actually had two. You have two. I had two. Yeah. You want to? Yeah. yeah. All right. Then even better, I will just take that last degree of success off of you to tell you that if you want to purchase um, enough survival points in order to loot something from one of the raiders that are bleeding out from the oh, rail cart. Okay, I was actually most interested in what was on the hand the cart itself. Right. So that's fair. That's you don't need a degree of success in order oh, to so look at a bunch of boxes. Okay. But this is just something that you could you can do as you're on a basically rewarding you with some extra gear. All right. Also one other question. When I saw these guys starting to pump the the hand cart, yeah. did it seem faster than I could run? Or if I was carrying something? Oh, if you, then you were carrying something? No, I mean, it takes time to get those things up and moving. 
Okay. Like you got to build momentum with a yeah. rail cart. Yeah. You know. All right. So uh, I, I may will... just I may just be doing like a you know when you go. Was it supermarket sweeps or, or yeah. when you go, when you go <laughs> shopping or whatever? It might just be one of those. You know? well, I can tell you for it. sure, since you ran and repositioned yourself over there, that undoubtedly the lot of what they grabbed was food, water, ammunition, Who and clearly it? medical supplies. Just scrap it all. So there's, okay. a cur there's a large amount of crates. And based on what you're seeing in there, it's, they got a lot on there. I mean, you could estimate, presumably, yeah. that about a quarter of the total rail driver's capacity is sitting on this handcart at the moment. Okay. You know? So you can hear the moans of the two bleeding men as they are basically attempting to uh, sustain anything, and you can hear them muttering curses under their breath as they're basically uh, questioning what line of action led them to this result in their life. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? <laughs> okay, uh, but they don't look capable of, my life choices. of, they don't pose any threat to me. They don't pose any threat to you, and if anything, the, the guns that they were holding on to have probably fallen out of their hands, and then okay. any melee weapons they would have been holding on to, they barely have the strength to stand, let okay. alone get up and swing a bat at you. So you said I could use a degree of success to try to get some new piece of gear off of them? Yeah, I mean. Is there, is there anything great? Oh well. That I can look for. So there is a mediocre modified <laughs> baseball bat, the same way as the one that Asher yes. got hit with. Mm -hmm. Not the exact same mm -hmm. one, no, but sword similar. Beats bat. Sorry. For your one degree of success, I will posit that you can purchase essentially one of them immediately if you want. I'll grab the gun. Yeah. Okay. I mean, no matter who uses it, that's just better. Come on. So uh, narrate it for me, would you? Okay, so I look at the, the slumped over raider and he's gurgling on his, his blood and stuff like that. And I go, don't worry, you're coming with us, but you won't survive. Right. And you won't need this. And I, I pull the gun out. So as you're grabbing this gun, you can hear the last gasping howl of the creature that is sitting mm -hmm. on the top, as you can start to see that it is leaping onto a box car that is in front of it. And all of you can see the rail driver in front of you. Now, you could tell that it was unloaded from a nondescript box car earlier. So it's much, much smaller or only a little bit smaller than one of these larger containers, as you can see. Okay. Now, the rail driver is a custom piece of engineering done by Stern Industries. It is essentially a large armored car that has been modified to burn coal and wood in order to heat steam and drive forward like the locomotives of old. Now, behind that, it is pulling essentially a modified armored motorhome. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the ones that's a camper that has two tiers onto it, which even has a small hatch in which you could see it has a kill box up at the very top to be able to provide a scout advantage point. So as a result, it's fairly top heavy as far as the second rail goes. Now this single armored car has been adjusted and you know this, Jenny, because it's one of the one things that you asked about in Asher. This is one of the most difficult things the company <clears throat> has ever done, but the rail driver is an all-terrain vehicle, which essentially means that with the proper time, effort, and energy, it can be taken off of the tracks oh, in word. order to be driven oh, on so regular yeah. terrain. Good. Good. Choo-choo, <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, but, you know, this all requires new wheels, putting it up, jacking it up, putting it back down. It's not a quick thing. Sure. Go, go, gadget, real yeah. <laughs> Only. Let's and do that when there are not being attacked yeah. by right. yeah. creatures. Yeah. And so. everything that you've managed to ask for is loaded in on this, except for, of course, in the motorhome part, you can see that the uh, back door, which is, a, it looks a lot like a, um, a ramp that would come down has been opened and now it's laying on the tracks as the stuff is being unloaded. So Jenny. Jenny. All right. How are you feeling about taking point on this? I feel great about it. All right. Well, why don't you get everybody's intent for me and I will shut up okay. unless something happens. Okay. All right. So Jenny, me, I am getting the rail driver up and running. 
Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Who's yeah. next? I'm gonna be heading over to the rail driver. You're getting the crow's nest on the top to shoot out of, okay. and reloading on the way. Okay, great. Oh, Asher, I should probably tell you as well too that you can start to feel your hands beginning to get wet. Yeah, no. yeah. As oh, blood is beginning to pool inside of your very, very new gloves. Nails do that. Yeah. I'm gonna spin around and shoot at this uh, this evil lady. There we Doc. go. Uh -huh. All right, uh, Band-Aid's gonna like tuck and roll and book it. <laughs> Just run! <laughs> to so, Band-Aid, book it. To the rail driver. <laughs> the rail driver. All right, I'm a lot of railing that deer right now. I am going to grab some of the uh, climbing like rope and stuff that I have around my waist, Yeah. Okay. and I want to try to loop it through what I think look like the most important ammo boxes. Ooh, I mean, Jesus. I'm pretty strong. You think, is it some, something I could reasonably you could carry like, a box. move at a decent rate with one crate? You can move at half speed. That's what I'm gonna do, so cover me. Grabbing it. <laughs> okay. That's my plan. Uh, Great's okay. running with a box. Yep. Great. Let's get this going. Um, so oh, sure speed. Sure so I should probably allocate yeah. speed dice because that's important. Uh, Jenny, you are rolling three dice Kay. to speed. Okay. Asher, you are rolling three dice to reposition, reload, and do uh, Dear shooting. Your lord. Uh, Ray, you are shooting and you're not out at all, right? Nope. So you're at one speed dice. Band-Aid, you're booking it to the rail D. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. <laughs> um, if it's just movement, it's just two speed. Two. Because you, you're, you're moving a lot. Right, right. You're moving a lot. <laughs> and then, I mean, unless you want to do something else with it. Like, if you want to run all the way to the rail driver just full speed, then it's two speed dice. Cool, okay, yes. that's fine, that's fair. Wraith. Yeah, box Longest. time. Yeah, I'm gonna like be giving a box. you three as well. Actually, okay. no, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna probably do is no, you haven't you haven't challenged your endurance yet because this is the first box. Um, so this is gonna be the only box. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got this. I believe you, man. So uh, three you speed. can get the next box. Three speed. No, I'm okay. bleeding. All right, everybody. We're all doing this. Go for it. And here we go. Okay. Hello. Okay, great. So uh, Ray, go ahead. Uh, I spin around to shoot this chick. I have an exploding damage die as, die as well, nice. but I got. Like I said, a gazillion degrees of success. Is that so five or gazillion? It's five. <laughs> okay. It's five since that's the cap. If he's going to ask, say a gazillion. A gazillion equals the same <laughs> as five. He gave you the option. <laughs> All right, so here's your degree of success. So how many degrees of success would it take for me to get off that and run either to the rail you driver? You could blow your last one in order to also hop down after this shot. But just hop down, not get anywhere. No, just hop down. You'd be behind cover. His headshot is three damage dice and ignores all defense. Right. So you'd be doing is yeah, you'd have I've your two got, dice plus you're exploding. Six. So plus that four would be another three damage dice to roll. So she'd be and ignore defense, well, which is we'll dope. see. Um, so yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get her, get rid of her. I you're like you're her. legendary at telling yourself you get bad rolls. Yes, let's no, I, I I can't stand this, this chick. This is showing here. I can't, <laughs> stand, I can't stand this chick. So we also have this exploding yep. die. Yep. So let's add that. So right now it's six plus five oh, is eleven. Eleven. Eleven plus eight is nineteen. <laughs> Explain to me it's grizzled fate. Yeah. <laughs> I turn around She's and to continue too. my <laughs> yes, to continue my long litany of expletives, I scream out really loud, "Not now, motherfucker!" and Whoa. shoot her as she's screaming through the air and get eyes on her right in the head. <laughs> and she tumbles backwards right off of the second story of that boxcar, splat! You can actually hear the bones crunch from this far away. Now that's what I'm talking that about. That was a 180 no-scope. <laughs> yeah? That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. And then, uh... I'm still pissed, so I'm jumping off his box. Yeah, he starts crying. Right. <laughs> Keep running, shut up! <laughs> well, uh, then yes, yeah, spend that last one and you can hop down, right, at least down to the bottom of the boxcar, because you have about two little crates you can jump down from there. Where so. we Boink, boink, boink. My man. Bounce, bounce, do. <laughs> yeah, all right, great. Uh, Bambi, <laughs> you're up next. I'm hoofing it. Hoofing it. All right, so let's get you right over to where uh, uh, our stingray is. Oh, I would definitely go this way. Oh, okay. The stingray when it, for cover. Yeah, I didn't realize if I didn't know if you're going to go in front of that box car or behind it. So in between the cover. All right. Well, you can definitely make it to the rail driver with. Huzzah! With total, well, so high five. All right. Hey. Asher. All right. Well, yeah. I I huff it to the. Uh, to the rail driver, mm -hmm. set myself up in the top. With right. the, it has like the viewing area, right? To, yeah. To shoot out of. Right. So you drop a clip and pop a new one in. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. And then uh, you're up in the crow's nest. It is, by the way, a very well built armored mobile home. Thank you. Nice. And the uh, like the ladder up. leading up into it was uh, to get to the to get to the crow's nest, the kills the kill box, kind of just like the inside of a submarine. 
there's sleeping quarters on top and sleeping quarters on bottom. So just like a pair, just kind of like inside of a submarine, there's just a, a single ladder that kind of takes you up to the second level, which is where you're going to be. We in. stern don't mess around. Right. Um, Wraith, you're up with six next. Okay. Now I have one degree of failure. Okay. All right. So, so you want to tell me what happened? Uh, I didn't make it all the way back to the rail driver. That's for sure. And, <laughs> so, and I didn't want to strain myself. Yeah. So I put down the box, the crate that I'm carrying. Yeah. And I get, I get down behind it, and well, I sort of crouch so I can see over it and still see what's happening. Yeah. But I didn't make it as far as I wanted. So let's to. say you got, you got halfway there. Okay. Instead. All right. Can I, can I move it? Yeah. You want to make it over there? But all you right. did pick up a gun. I did. I did. So, so I'm right here. The box is well down played. with you. Can I grab one of these boxes? Oh, they already glued down. Okay. You're gonna knock down the bodies. Yeah, our bleeding oh. bandits. So, all right. Bandits. So they're only the real drivers. And as, yeah. and as you can, and as by the so way, I, like here. Yeah. So Wraith, as you're leaving, you can actually hear <clears throat> one of the men who is alive, but barely thus, is actually with every ounce of his strength is yelling to you like, "Don't leave me here! Don't let them take me!" No. That's gonna be a hard no for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> because of um, my sentry getting knocked away, I'm going to actually spend another risk point to um, keep this encounter moving. And normally I'd have to die roll. Actually, I still get to make a die roll. I forget, I always get to make a die roll. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so I'll spend some risk. May I ask how many risks you have pulled yeah. right now? Uh, 19. 19. 19 risks. Okay. Right here. So 19 on the, on the board. Oh, I see. So I'm going to. That's a lot of risk. Yeah, no kidding. Basically, oh, no. bring these around. Bye, Bandaid. Well, Bandaid's all the way Oh boy, over she's there. back. It's fine. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm in the rail driver. Bandaid, pip, I just want them to get you. Oh, I'm sorry. I love you. You're my favorite. He's oh, our... I made it worse. You don't want the medic? <laughs> all right. No, trust you me. I need bleed. him right now. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna fix him. <laughs> I'm dripping. Why don't you just lick your own wounds? <laughs> all right. I'll so you can start oh, to hear that. Okay. <laughs> as they start just coming out through various places all around boxcars oh, from oh, different crap. parts of the railway. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not yeah, stuff. we're at the top of the next round. We're not so, that stuff. so intense. Intense? From my little crow's nest here, I can see Wraith having put down the box. Yes. <laughs> and I'm calling out to him right now, pick up the fucking box! But he's near Stingray now. I, yeah, I can grab the, I can grab the box and run. Both of you pick up the <laughs> fucking box! And I left the ramp down on purpose, right, right, hoping right, you right. guys would get a box in here. So my intent is to stay where I am right. and wait until the infected get here. How incredibly noble of you. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> one speed dice for that. I'm fortified. This guy, 12 years old, already giving orders. <laughs> Stingray. Um, am I, and I'm right by Wraith? Yeah, Are you're we, actually next to where the box is. You jumped down as he was setting it down. And we're, we're about halfway. Hi, Hen. About um, we're about halfway. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick it up and get going. Okay, uh, band aid. So I've made it into the rail driver. Yeah, you're I want in. to um, call top bunk. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, band aid oh, priorities. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna. I want to help uh, prepping it because uh, okay. with Jenny. Uh, Jenny, um, we both of you will basically contribute towards the engineering check yes. that you're both looking for. Okay. You can use his degree of success. Uh, Wait, is it what is engineering? I don't even. It's expert. With her help, though. A morally assist. Yeah. <laughs> you got this. Yay. Uh, to be fair, it's you just when. just hand he, her wrenches. When he's assisting, when you're assisting, especially since this kind of basic action for, for you know, helping Gary Wood and things like that, I'll allow you to roll, and I won't count the degrees of failure against you. Okay. Just the degrees of success. Ooh. Unless you get a catastrophe, oh, okay. then that's different. So that's what. Um, uh, perception yeah, that. and willpower together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, perception bonus and empathy. Perce and so yeah. would, remember, it would probably be a pretty low number. Yeah. So, three and then six. Jenny, you're rolling, but you're still on that three speed. I already rolled labor okay. from your last roll as well, too. Okay. So, I just did it now. So that was fun. Um, so you're starting to basically do the systems check. Yeah. That is necessary. Yeah. And you're starting to heat we're throwing fuel in the firebox. Throwing Get fuel it. in the firebox. Yeah. So we're getting it moving. So, and you are, and you're having band aid grab fire, yeah. firewood, mm -hmm. put it inside of there as you're starting to light it, Fan get it, it, heat it up. Okay. <clears throat> Can yeah. I do like a lift pull roll instead? 
your abs are just I'm you're not floating really firewood. I'm not really anything. I'm yeah. just doing whatever she tells me. Then actually, cool. that's a better thank you for uh, providing a great alternative. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. Mm -hmm. always oh, thinking. Speaking of which, this is probably a great time for me to introduce a new rule that will help you oh. if you want to get into it. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> we, ex we explained a little bit of some of the basics in the last episode, but this episode I'm introducing competence points. Uh -huh. mm. And everybody uh -huh. starts with two competence points okay. in order to, for the beginning of this session. And it's essentially, if you feel you are competent in this thing, you may spend the competence points to Let's basically see. just get a free degree of success okay. or negate a degree of failure, all right? You're essentially saying, hey, I'm sticking to the plan. I'm very competent in what I'm doing. You're not necessarily taking any risky action. So something like this could be a good use of a competent point because, you're, you, like you said, you're not engineering anything. You're just doing what she tells you to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, great. You have to declare that before you, no, it have to be after, to negate failure. Yeah, you can spend a competence point after your roll if you okay. wish. And right? when do we get those points back? At the beginning of every session. Oh, okay. Oh. And if you don't <clears throat> use them, by the end of the session, I will instead give you survival points for not using them. Okay, hey, hey, roll over a minute. Yep, roll. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do not use competence points, they don't just go away. They turn into survival points by the end of the session. Cool. cool. Right? All right. And so we're on one speed. Uh, yeah, might, might as well. Yeah, let's get you both on three because it's still a complicated action what you're doing. Okay. Oh, we just get a three. Three, uh, three speed dice. Oh. Speed dice, and then the skill as well. Yep, your skill, especially. <laughs> Uh, great. Has everyone got their speed and their dice? Yeah. Yep. Let's roll it. <gasps> oh, okay. I got a one. I got a one. Ah! I got a four. Oh, wait. <laughs> you got to start that train. <laughs> Fire it up. I'm actually good at engineering. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holy crap. Did you roll under your engineering? I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing. I'm an engineer now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let's, let's start the speed. Uh, uh, Asher. What's your speed? I got a three. Three. Wait. All right. Oh, what did we get? I got a one or a ten. We um, are a five. You're a five. It could be a oh, lot worse. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then how about um, how about the engineering duo? I, I, um, speed. I, that's ten. A ten. Uh, band aid plus Jenny. Pretty solid. So Asher, you sit in your warlord's box yelling orders. Okay. That's me. That's so you. <laughs> yeah. As a uh, wraith and stingray, how did you do? Not well. Um, uh, that is. How many? Let's see. What was it? Lift pull. Lift pull. Yeah. Uh, four degrees of failure. So can I use my competency points to put those away? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. But they're my. But that's my check. He didn't. I have a, a forty-nine lift pull, and I rolled a fifty. So, I've, so it's zero, zero failure. Zero, right? zero failure. So you just have to resolve hers then. So. But can okay. I? It's a tough box. You can burn two to competence points to just negate the the failure on on two of those. Yeah, because four is way too much. Something horrible is about to happen. Right. So let's get rid of those. So you're fairly competent in carrying boxes. Congratulations. Yes. I think yes. this is one of those, <laughs> this is one of those yeah, things right. like when you move a couch. No, 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 but I'll tell yeah. you what happened. And no, you no, have no, to no. decide who walks backwards yeah, yeah, and no. who walks forward. I jumped down, I jumped down with my rifle. We had a weird like dancey, dancey, dancey <laughs> moment. Mm -hmm. I try, he put it down, I, I kind of, we just fumbled and we did a I Love Lucy mess. We said it did a Lucille Ball mess. Yes. Um, uh, so I finally end up grabbing the box, but I'm way slow. And by the time I get it up, I It's also it way bit. heavier than both of you really imagined, even with both of you kind of getting into it. So we're going to say with those, and you did didn't make it to the rail driver. Oh, oh hell no. I told you it's heavy, that's why I put it down. That's quite all right. <laughs> and the 98 pounder is coming to help me. You wanted to help. I did want to help. I'm right here. Where are you going? So you make another, you make it about another quarter of a way to the rail driver, putting you to the last quarter uh, right before you're about Thanks, to load dude. the box. Thank in. you. Thanks for fixing us from on high. At this point, you're welcome. Um, Jenny and uh, Band Aid. I'm, I'm, I'm How well did you do as far as rolls go? Very well. Yes, yeah, same. Well, then grab your degrees of success Three and degrees, degrees of failure. Three. I'm going to move <laughs> our infected. Thank you. That means infected means are courtesy of Cool Mini or Not oh, from Zombicide. More infected on there. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, they're, they're, they're everywhere. I can't see much from the box. What's in the box? <laughs> they are so fast. Oh, they're very fast. Uh, oh my goodness, that's okay. too much. That's... Holy cow. You watch as you can hear the boilers start to churn and you can start to feel the heat as the steam is starting to rise from the main uh, spout 
in the front of this converted armor car. Through the small wisping parts of the smoke, you can actually see as one of the creatures just <laughs> leaps up and you can Ew. hear metal screech <laughs> as it rakes its claws across the bottom of the box car. And you can see it just for a moment as it lands right onto the top. You maybe had a shot for a brief glimpse of the moment, but just as quickly it's gone as it finishes its arc down onto the bottom of the box car. Uh, we can begin this intense round again. Um, okay. Do you guys have three and then three, respectively? Yeah. All right, I'm going to roll. Oh, how would you like to spend these? Would you want to contribute it all towards getting the, the rail, rail driver rail. Rail running? Just yeah. clarifying. And that's, just I appreciate clarifying. that. I appreciate it. Yeah. So that you is. You have one job. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Correct. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, it's almost like if you were trained for this explicitly. <laughs> yes. So oh, in the same way that you, uh, you, you, <laughs> uh, it's almost like a second home to you as you start twisting all of the knobs, throwing the fire in, and that thing just starts burning as if, uh, as if someone tossed kerosene on it, which maybe you did in order to get that thing up and moving. Um, but no matter what, you can actually start to feel the engine start to pull against its own brakes a little bit okay. as the momentum is starting to build up and the steam is starting to gain purchase to where the point of at some point you feel like you could probably get a little bit of movement if you started to adjust the speed on the rail driver. I do. Okay, so are you going slow or are you going We're gonna full? go slow. I want to roll out slow and you guys just get in. Just All right. get in. Yeah. So she pulls the main speed lever in order to break it into a slow crawl and you guys start to feel, Asher, you start to feel as this thing chung chung, chung chung, chung chung, as it starts to feel as the, as the large connecting pinions start to move the wheels as it begins making a slow crawl along the rails. You guys are so close with the box. You're so close with the box. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, intent. Um, finishing this box situation. All right. Yeah. Can we have a quick word yeah, before box. we declare intent? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring I can it. be like, boxing. do you want to carry and I fight? Or we both carry? Or we both fight? Woof. Oh. Stronger. I look and see you don't have any melee weapons. Like, maybe I not do. both I fight. Have, no, no, I maybe have not a, both I have fight. My, I have my kukri. Um, I look Im I look impressed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's just get on this thing. All right. <laughs> All right. So you're both booking it for the rail driver. Oh, you don't want to try to carry this this box? Oh yeah 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 no yeah. no with the <gasps> box. I think right. we're gonna give it a shot know. of carrying the box. Dude, then, then you know what to do. I'm up here pull. just freaking out. Dude, no yeah. no, we're just running with the box. Running with the box. You two can do something else if you want, but the rail driver's up and moving cool. at this point. I'm gonna move back uh, towards the ramp. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take out my pistol and I'm gonna aim it for backup. And because I see them coming, uh, I see. if anything comes close to them, I'm gonna try. Do you to... want to hold with the trigger? Dance. Huh? Do you want to hold with the trigger with composure? Sure. Yeah. All right. Roll composure now. The reaction. Three. <laughs> oh, all right. Four so degrees. you pull. Oh, four degrees. Okay. So you pull your pistol out to kind of look at it, but you are finding yourself uh, uh, not. You're just kind of like watching them. Yeah. And you're not watching around you. Sure, sure, sure. At all. I'm just like, come on, come on, come on, come yeah, on. Yeah. You're more excited in the in, in the outcome of this than you are looking <clears> for potential targets. Technically, I don't see the infected anyway, so I don't know that they or the the Where they infected. Are, like, yeah. Box. Hear them. Yeah. So because I broke my composure, I don't. Roll. Or no, I, am I, it's basically just means you don't get the benefit of being able to hold on the next round. Oh, since, okay. it was, since it wasn't an absolute catastrophe, I'm not necessarily penalizing. It's very before. close. So. <laughs> cool. Uh, but in this case, you essentially, you're just your actions lost okay. for this round. All right. Um, but you had your gun out, so great. <laughs> Good. Uh, so roll, roll. But then, Jenny, how about you? I am just. Slowly opening that throttle, we're just like increasing our speed. I've, I'm giving you guys enough time to hop on, mm -hmm. but like as soon as you're on, go. yeah, gone. Got it. Like, All right, great. Then let's go. Speed's what's going to be the most important here. Oh my god, speed? yes. Great. Well, then let's resolve this relatively quick round. Asher, how'd you do? Four degrees up. Four degrees up. Ooh. Thank God. All right. So uh, at this point. Yeah, you're tall enough that you can definitely get a shot off on it. So That's what I was thinking. Right. Just barely. Right in there. Uh, cool. So, yeah, I want to put a lot of focus down into, the, into that guy. Um, okay. Which uh, one, the red orange? shirt or the orange, orange shirt? Orange shirt is my orange target, cool. originally. Uh, so right now, I'm going to burn two to roll right. two more damage die. Damn it. Uh, that's five. That's six so far. 
Yes, yes. thank you. Yes. Are they both exploding? No, just one. one. Just one. So that's right. two. So that was what? Six, seven, eight. Plus uh, five, 13. Yeah, 13. Okay. 16, 16 well damage done. total to orange. 16? Mm -hmm. To orange, yeah. All right. So you pop a couple of rounds into it, and you watch as it like stumbles and drops. You you dropped it. You didn't kill it, but you watch as it kind of like stumbles down and like picks itself up a little bit and enough to just give you the dirtiest look on the planet uh, before you watch as the rail driver continues to push off. But it is it is not dead, but it is not operable at this moment. Oh, I made the infected yeah. mad. You heard his feelings. <laughs> I think it's down. Is it down off the fall box off car? The, it did fall off. No. No. Oh, it okay. just kind of he, he shot and just kind of scrambled forward okay. into the car. So you you. You definitely, you definitely did something to it. Um, now, uh, That's good. the rest are going to, so you've made it, since of the slow crawl, you probably cleared about five, maybe 10 feet at this stage. And these guys are ah, leaping. Uh, they got leap? Yeah, they're leaping. So this one will come around this way. Easy how nature do that. And this one will come around <laughs> this way. And you'll wisely watch us. So, oh, Andy, boy. as you're watching, uh, both Stingray and um, Wraith kind of picking up the box. You watch as two of them just <laughs> around the corner, or I should probably do it from your perspective, it's just <laughs> around the corner of the box car, and you can see them as they almost look like they're in a full sprint, as you can see some of their ragged clothes. Towards them or towards us? Straight well. towards these two. As you can see, some of their ragged cloth is whipping right behind them in like a full breeze. As you can see, they're like cloudy, milk-white eyes. And some of their long, especially on the female there, this long, ragged, dirty hair is they're just <laughs> as they just start running straight towards Wraith and Stingray. So, um, Wraith and Stingray, how'd you do? Two degrees of failure. Oh no. Um, I have, uh, let's see. One, I think it's one degree of success here. Okay. Check. Yeah. All right. So, how would you like to resolve your degree of success? Um, and how would you like to resolve your degrees of failure, Stingray? Are you out of competence? Mm, I used him on the last one. You're you're fighty, right? And he's lifty. You know what? I'm gonna. They're both, well, they're both lifting, lifting right lifting, now. But how I about I spend gun. one point of my own co competence, and then with my successes, it'll cancel out yours, and we'll basically just say. Because I'm I'm probably taller than you, right? Word. That's probably been another reason we've had this problem carrying this box, right? You just grab it on your own. So I just kind of lean into it, right? And, and then she's still off. attached. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just dangling off her arms up, right? And, right. You know. So as this thing is I'll starting take more to move, of the load. you're basically cursing Jenny under your breath because you're this thing's getting farther away yeah. as you are running towards it. As you pick up this box and just with a just a howl of adrenaline yeah. and just partial rage, you're just just bake this box and then heft it straight into the back of the rail driver. And you oh. hear it kum, 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 yeah. into the back, almost knocking over <laughs> and in the process, as now uh, both you and Stingray basically just need to get on the boat, as okay. they say. Okay. We're not sightseeing here, we're done. So this next roll determines that? This, this, essentially I'm just going to ask for an endurance check for both you and Stingray as you guys are going full, full board in order to make it in there, alright? All right. Endurance is 40. Yeah. You got this, no, you got this, you're good, you're good. <laughs> so as Stingray and Wraith start barreling yes! down oh, the side yes! of the, uh, the rail up. line, ooh, ooh. they continue to run. Is that, so do I need to reroll that one? No, no, no you're, you're good, you're good. You did okay. it! Yeah. All right. And you run! How well did you run, you two? We ran great! Yay! <laughs> we, did good, we did good I, uh, running! <laughs> I run with my arms out like this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Into the rail driver. All right. Just right up so the rail. So you got like one this. degree. Uh, one degree of success. One degree of success. Um, uh, I got four degrees of success. All right. They're running just as fast. It's not faster than the rail driver at this stage. So, mm -hmm. but that thing's gaining speed. We have a close call, and I want to hear how it happened. Okay, so after I've hucked the box, I actually end up running faster than you, and I get on first. Clearly. So I run up the ramp with my, my ninja run. Yes. And then I, I skid to a stop, and I turn around, and you're almost on the ramp, I'm too. I'm almost on the ramp. I go, see, you're not the best at everything. Never said I was. Give me a fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
yep. and you pull her up yep. as she lines up and I shut the door. Bandit pulls the lever mm. up as you watch it cocoon, cocoon, as the rail driver is completely locked and secured. And you can hear the boom of a couple of the creatures just jumping onto the side and of the rail off. driver and then bouncing off and skittling <laughs> along the side. It's a new paint it. job. <laughs> As this thing just continues to gain more and more speed. Now, you've cleared the St. Louis train station. <laughs> You're basically taking this thing at what what speed, Jenny? How far is this thing coming up? So Man, how fast can we go? So a uh, little information about the rail driver. Please. It has a max speed of 55 miles per hour. Just oh, okay. But it requires coal to get to that level. Okay. Now, okay. its max on wood is about 35. Okay, so we're going about 35. Yes, 35 is, is about the max that you can get onto okay. this thing without burning any additional coal. Gotcha. But that's going to get the thing up to a pretty reasonable speed on rails at this stage. So, Jenny, as you're barreling this rail driver along at 35 miles an hour, you are clearly outpacing the infected who are running behind you at this stage. And your brain reminds you that, yes, while this thing absolutely has a top speed of 35 miles an hour when running on wood, it's not meaning it as a safe speed. Mm -hmm. So you're going pretty fast in this thing and you can already start to feel the improvised armored car starting to rattle a little okay. bit. I slow down. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> uh, to, to any particular speed? Um, let's take it to like 28. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, 28. 28. 28? Yeah. All right. So that's a very specific number. Yeah. Also yeah. divisible by seven. I appreciate the math. Wow. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Hey, she's uh, a train expert, not you. Let her decide yeah. what speed to right. And do. Asher, I believe, uh, <laughs> I believe you were recalling to me a little earlier that you wanted to come down. Yes, I want to have a moment. Mm. Oh, well, take it away. So as we exit the station, yeah. I come down from the little crow's nest here. As you come out, down immediately, sit down. I push you aside, physically. I get in Jenny's face and say, what the fuck was that? This is supposed to be a crack team. We almost got steamrolled in there. As I pull off my gloves, which sop to the floor. Blood pools out from Oh, them. God. All right, I start taking out bandages. All right, we had, we had no idea how many infected there were, and they were they kept coming, okay? Not to mention, asshole, who was the one who let on that we were there when he walked around and cleared his fucking throat? Was that, did you, they Ray. teach you that Thank in Stealth 101? You. Don't get on her. You've got me there. I disinfect your wounds with a, any ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> you were also the first to start shooting. Yeah, maybe don't do How that. How do you think they heard us? How do you think these infected were attracted? What do you think was our alternative? Maybe talk to them? They could have been, we're all smugglers here. It could have been reasonable. We with. spoke to them. We're all smugglers. Okay, fine. You occupy we spoke them with to them. talking. I sneak up and shoot them with my arrow, which is quiet. You want to kill them all with your bow? Was that gonna, is that how you had that planned out? You got a problem with this team. You're welcome to do this all by yourself. This is who you, you got. You want the money. Come on. I can get money plenty of ways, pretty boy. I overheard your conversation back in town. You're about the money too, friend. I'm about a lot more than money. Right this whole now, mission right is about, about a bleeding. lot more than money. I'm not listening to this. I'm going yeah, up to you, the crow's nest. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing out here. We do, all right? So sit down, get bandaged up, and let's just drive this thing, okay? Do you want to do a inventory <clears throat> of what is still in the rail driver and what isn't? Let me fix you up first. I mean, someone else can. Uh, I got rolled <laughs> an 80, Oof. so uh, okay. but I still got uh, it's zero failure, zero success. So can I like take a 10 and do it again? So what's probably going to happen at this stage is it's just going to take time. Sure. Like at this point, you're that's fine. I'm probably not putting effort into healing quickly anyway. Because maybe you're he's an moving asshole. around too much and chewing people out. <laughs> do you want to do you want to describe to me? How yeah. You get so him going? initially, I was just haphazardly like disinfecting the wounds and kind of wrapping them and and letting it kind of like bleed through the the bandages. And as time has passed, I'd let it like kind of clot a bit and then um, re reapply the bandages. And that's all that it needed. But you didn't have to be a jerk about everything. No. <clears throat> How long has it been now that we've been working on this? Uh, it's been about forty-five minutes or so. Okay. You're right. If we're all here. I'm sorry. That was a very tense situation for me. <laughs> Obviously, you're hilarious. 
Obviously, this is my first time in the frontier. What? I, I, I'm trying here, man, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I respect the experience you all have, and obviously you were hired for a reason. I want to make sure that we do keep our coordination tight going forward, and I recognize my part in this. So, I'm sorry. Let's keep the mission going, and hopefully not have any more bumps in the road. And Naz, speaking of bumps in the road, Don't and that, <laughs> Danny, as you begin to consistently keep this thing at a constant 28 miles an hour. Maybe 25, maybe 25. 25. <laughs> as you keep this thing at an average 25 miles an hour, you start to see, without a lot of difficulty ahead, at least about a half a mile, maybe a mile down, you can actually see, well, what's the best way to describe this? In the rural parts of St. Louis, there are a couple of areas in which it demanded a bridge go over the rail line versus make a traditional crossroad, probably in order to keep congestion down. At this point, though, you're far enough away from the major city limits of St. Louis where a huge part of nature has started to come in and take over. In fact, a large portion of this 45 minute drive while um, Asher was getting patched up, slowly the rubble and gray and brown that is part of the kill zone of St. Louis is starting to slowly transition into a large, green, fertile, overgrown area. While this is going on, uh, can I borrow your gloves? Sure, why? Cool. Uh, can I spend some survival points to see if we have any glass flasks in uh, supplies? You can, ca you can cash that out if you want. In fact, this is probably a great opportunity to kind of tell you what you have. They're already been off. They were <clears> pulling you know. on the floor. I put, I put them back on after the bandaging. Don't do that. I did the whole motion. <laughs> You did not do that. Bad I did patient. not let you do Bad that. I, I took them out. Gross. Oh. I'll say I can get about three flasks. Great. Because that's with, with stoppers. Yeah. So uh, I want to take the gloves and kind of wring them out into the oh, flasks. I see what you're going for. Oh. And then uh, <clears throat> dilute it with some of the water from my own personal canteen and okay. stopper them. Oh, great. Why? Well okay. played. Stinky sticks. Those are stink bombs. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I don't have to explain anything to you. <laughs> Here's your stinky stick. Thank you. Very single-minded. Great. All right, well, that's been pulled out. And uh, getting back to the landscape at hand, you can see these large overgrown ferns as well as these young saplings who are beginning to burst out from various parts of residential area. What biome would you call this? We're definitely still in the plains All Like right. it's still flat, <laughs> it's still urban, it mm -hmm. still has like, cause you're passing by old residential houses yeah. and you can see these burnt out or overgrown or moss ridden buildings. A lot of them look like they've had literally moss painted on them. So mm -hmm. there's partly any wood or old finish left. And if not, some of them are so crumpled and uh, dry that you can see that maybe part of a brush fire or something else, they've just been burnt down years and years ago. So Wraith is in the, the crow's nest with you and you can see that he looks much more relaxed. He's chewing on a piece of uh, rabbit jerky and just sort of oh, good. inhaling the, the fresh nature. <laughs> All right. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this on one of our friends. Oh, I, oh the gun, the pistol. And I pull yeah. out this right. pistol. Excellent. Oh, fair enough. So, but, uh, for inventory-wise, how are we doing on fuel? Did they take anything? Yeah, or? curious about fuel, no water. No wood was taken. Okay. Food and water, some was taken, absolutely. Okay. So you originally had enough to take care of you for three weeks, all three of you for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Now there's a little less than that. Having That's recovered right. the box, yes. you need one? We didn't end up losing a lot. You lost um, a, only a little, you lost a little less than a third. Of mostly food and water. Of just supplies inside of the rail driver. Okay. All of your kind of more elite items that you requested, like the mountain bikes, the ham radio, and the satellite phone batteries, um, those are still in there. You can still pay to get them out. Sure. You know? So if you want ready. I remember that. Yes, yes. I, I was know. proud of that Prepared. one. That's amazing. Right. That uh, was her idea. We're totally doing BMX bandits at some point. Damn! Oh. <laughs> yeah. But at this point, I will tell you that you've definitely, um, you've definitely gone through the St. Louis station and the, it's the, the only main point of interest you can actually see from the rail line is there is the Washington University Tyson Research Area, which is very much part of 
taken over by the woodlands mm -hmm. in that area. And you can actually see a theme park, an old rusted theme oh, park yes. uh, on the right side <laughs> of the road. And uh, it is, it's amazing that they're still standing after decades, but you can actually see a large portion of them have that old man's beard uh -huh. that's coming down of the moss. And so it, a lot of, lot of the old, like, um, Parts of the roller coasters sometimes look like large, frowning faces with long beards dangling down from it. <laughs> so, uh, it's the one thing that does break the skyline up amongst a vast waft of flat, with high, almost waist-high grass being punctuated by the occasional young sapling, which the ones that are close enough to the rail driver are just summariously getting ripped out of their roots or branches snapped even at the modest 25 miles an hour that you're traveling. I look at Asher as we're going by the amusement park and I say, don't get excited, kid, we're not stopping. <laughs> I, start, I start playing with my lock a little bit more yeah. fidgety as we pass it. The tunnel in which the trains of the old age may have gone through, you can actually now see a large plywood sheet mm. laid up along the entire front of the tunnel, and you can see that it's been made up of large pieces of plywood reinforced by a couple of two by fours, and it just seems to be a wooden wall that's been tacked on to the old stone archway that is in the middle of your rail line. That's not an obstacle. Someone or something is living in there. Yeah, yeah. may I suggest we stop ahead, well ahead. Absolutely. Spongy because speed. if we can take that down, we'll need to get going through there at speed. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. also, we should probably do a spot listen just to see if we can hear anything that's going on there. Well, we can we? pop out and get closer to it and have a listen, right? Right. So as you stop the rail driver, how far away from the structure would you um, like to do so? I try and stop as safely and as quickly right. as possible. As soon as we see it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So as you start to slow the engine down, it coasts pretty close. Yeah, giving yourself like a dun -dun lurch <laughs> as you guys stop. I'm gonna guess about 250, maybe 300 feet. Oh, okay, that's not bad at all. Before, I mean, you had, you, you had a pretty straight shot as far as looking at it goes, and as soon as you see the bridge and into it, it only takes about 50 or 60 or so feet to slow down at that speed. Do we all wanna go have a, have a look at this? Yeah. I'm going for sure. All right, so who's Sound staying good? in the rail driver? Who's going? I'll, uh... I want to go and be sneaky. You go be sneaky. I'll be in I'm the crow's nest. First. Okay. Keeping an eye out. Great. Keep an eye on this guy. Do it. All right, Thanks, so man. the four of you and Stingray staying in the tower. I'm, uh, I'm bringing, like, we have, like, axes and stuff for, like, clearing brush. All right, well, that's another 15 survival points to pull from the rail driver. Would you like to get the axe? Yes, I would. Go grab it. <laughs> it's a big one, right? It's a big one. There's an axe. Oh my great. goodness. Awesome. Now that's an axe. <laughs> so that'll and help clear. Axe. And uh, here's the card for it. Excellent. So Band-Aid on your way back. You're welcome to take that. As Wraith and Band-Aid approach with a... I'm up there too. Asher. And Asher, but Wraith and, and Band-Aid are carrying with crowbars and axes yeah. along the way as you're walking forward. You can start to see this plywood wall has uh, has a little bit of splash and color on it. You can start to see that they maybe actually done a little bit in order to try to make it blend mm. with the countryside and matching parts of the arch stoneway, which is also covered in vinery and greenery as well. And um, as you start walking closer and closer to it, you hear the large cacao of a rifle shot. Ping! <laughs> as dust and rocks kind of explode just hit right deck. next to you. Yes. Yes. All of you hit the deck. I, I, as soon as I well, hear that, I'm, I'm locked and loaded. So you're looking and through watching, it. trying to see what's you can happening see through my scope. A couple of slits, but here's the thing: the scoped rifle that you have, yeah. uh, a lot of the hunting rifle that you have actually doesn't have a full-blown like sniper rifle scope on it. So you're mostly using the naked eye with a little bit of a magnification mm -hmm. in order to go through there. You can see the black slits, and you can actually see a small rifle Point. barrel pointing out through. But that's about as much as you can see. So, right now, how close are we to the actual wooden wall itself? Uh, so you stopped at about 300 feet, mm -hmm. if I said correctly. Mm -hmm. You'd walk about 50 to maybe another 100 feet before that went down, so let's call it 200 feet. Oh, Jesus. From the opening. 
Okay. It's a long, it's, got, it's a long rail <clears> pull. Yeah. And we have like some tree cover, are there plants? No, you're literally right in the middle of the rails. You're you know walking I mean? down the track. We have the, the rails to either side. Do we have trees? What, like, what's oh, the topography? It's mostly a uh, waist high, up to waist high amount of grass and shrubbery with a couple of young saplings, but most of it's just grass cover. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna take a dive with long grass. Waist yeah. high, right? Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. like parts of it are really tall. So Yeah, long. I'm just diving straight into that. Me right. too. Let's dive. All right. right. Diving, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going down. All right. On the rails? No, in, in the grass. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Jenny. Yeah, diving. Dive. The okay. Grass. Oh, hey, Jenny. <laughs> You're here also. <laughs> so as I all four dive. of you dive into the grass, you can hear amongst the silence because at that point, after the crack went off, you heard you just saw birds <laughs> as they kind of like came out from all different parts of the high grass, and silence kind of permeates after that single rifle shot went off. Did we all dive into the same grass? I think so. Or here are we on either side, maybe? Do we have to? You want to roll for that? We were like standing to see by like how frantic we were. How coordinated were we? In all oh, and I actually, at this point, let's Same let's direction. just make a let's just make a, a single will save for all of you. Yeah, all of you. Okay. Make a will. Just a will check. Check against your will. This essentially oh, for everyone. Oh, yeah. yikes! For everyone, just see how coercive you were on this. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I had a third. Yeah. We don't have to worry about degrees of oh, success. Okay. This is just a, a, a success or failure kind of failure. situation. Failure, failure. failure, unless it's five. So you all found different places <laughs> sure. in Great. order to scattered. scatter into. You scattered like roaches. <laughs> so. And I'm too far away to really communicate with y'all, but I can shoot. Yeah, you can see the barrel pointing out, but you, at this point, after the birds, it's just silence this moment. No, was it Was it anybody, I, I had one point over, I mean, I didn't have any, Degrees of failure, right. but I was just at zero. Yeah, just at zero. It's still you good. Okay. Still fine. Still clear. Nothing bad happened. All right. You did. You're all. It's clear where you. I will say it is very clear where you disturbed the grass. Okay. So even though you have cover, it's not like you disappeared into the brush. Yeah. It's very clear where you flattened the grass. Real yeah. quick too, I want to assess. Um, from what I remember, where the the shot landed, yeah. it seemed it seemed like a warning shot, not like I tried to kill you, but I missed. Do shot. you want to do you want to call that out? I sure do. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you want to say? Um, there is something like uh, I guess spot listen. Are you just wanting to yell at him? Or no, you no, wanted, no. I oh. want to determine, determine from where oh, the shot was. I see. Let me um. It banded. Yeah. It's abundantly clear that with a shot that far away mm -hmm. and that wide and how close he was, but still missed you, that was clearly warning a warning shot. shot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, no one's said anything yet, but. So I'd like to begin inching to where I believe yeah. Wraith had landed. Okay. Yeah. And I, work my way over to him. All right, so you kind of army crawl, and you can watch as the grass. <laughs> yeah. Like swishes around. Can as you I get roll for to stealth? <laughs> <laughs> and can I have my, my? I just want my gun trained on that one. Absolutely. You tell me when time. you want to shoot if you want to shoot ever. Mm -hmm. May okay. I roll for sneaky to disturb less grass? Uh, be less obvious. I think at this point, yes, you can. <laughs> so by all means, go for it. Yours. I always allow you. Well, you know these yours. Those yes. are mine. Yeah. I want lots of room. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, sneaky, uh, sneaky. Yeah, wow, actually. Super I sneaky. I got three degrees of success. Okay, yeah. So how would you like to tell your story? Okay, so um, I'm going to say I did not disturb the grass. I'm inching right. along. Yeah. And I find ways to weave between stalks. Yes. To where the grass is not too dense that you're going to make a mess of it wherever you go. Right. I, I carve a path through it without making too much disturbance. Right. Um, I track down Wraith. Right. Mm -hmm. And I meet up with him. Yeah. And should I spend one more to say that I found him successfully? Yep. Okay, great. One more. Okay. <laughs> we all have You can to hold use on those. to it. <laughs> so we found each other now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aww. What's up, buddy? I know. <laughs> oh, hi, Asher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just laying in the grass. I'm just, I'm just sitting there. I'm just kind of sitting there on my back, just kind of waiting. Right. And Asher comes upon you, yep. laying in the grass with your arms folded. I'm looking relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so together, I'm asking you now, mm -hmm. uh, quietly, I'm not gonna cough. What did you see? All I know is that there's, it's completely boarded up from top to bottom, it's just wood. Did you see any other way inside besides that? No, friend. I did not. And that is all we spotted, right? It's, just, it's a bridge and- Yeah, it's, it's still about 200 feet away, the fine details of the patched up 
tunnel are still pretty vague at this point. Okay. I think we should try and just regroup at the very least. We don't have to storm the palace, but we should find our other teammates here. I'm gonna do a listen check for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> right. As long as you're specified, it's for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I also have in very high survival, so yeah. can I imitate a specific bird call that these two would recognize? Might, oh, they've all, done missions. Yeah, oh they've all worked gosh. together. Okay, I will allow you to do that if you spend one gestalt point in order to make a gestalt skill out of it. Gestalt is done. the thing that you guys have in order to bring practical experience. So your gestalt is a practical experience that you bring into the world. So um, I, lo I actually really think that's awesome. So yeah. we're gonna make a gestalt skill out of it. You now have a bird call between your friends. The call of the raven. <laughs> and the <laughs> cool thing is, if I can hear that from the crow's nest, I know they're fine. Right. Or at least he's fine. Mostly fine. Yeah. At least yeah. he's fine. Yeah. So and you probably can. It's a it's a pretty distinct sound. So Maybe it's I not a super it's... uncommon bird, but like you guys have heard me do it a specific way. Yeah, you're not that so. good at yeah, it. That's that the I idea. Think you're a bird. Like, you all know it. <laughs> yeah, we, it's an agreed upon yeah. signal. Can I run downstairs and grab binoculars to get a better sense oh, of what's absolutely. going on? Oh, actually, yes. giving you mine. Would you like to? Uh, would you like to yeah, basically <laughs> spend ten survival points out here to get yeah. binoculars? Okay, we're gonna spend ten. So now you've got binox. So I got that and my scope. So, Ray, everybody knows you're there. No problems. So, um, well, we're hoping for a response so we can pinpoint where they are. My response is to uh, sneak over to where the call came from. Okay, great. So, uh, what is that? Is this stealth? still? Stealth. Yeah, this is still stealth. If you want to undisturb the grass, if you just want to go for it, you can go for it. <laughs> I'll try at least to be sneaky. Yeah, okay. I'd rather you not give us away. Oh! Yeah. Nice try. All right, you have to get up and run across the rails. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, because I went to the other side. Right. How many degrees of failure was it? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you're running, you hear a loud cacao <laughs> again. <laughs> as you see like, oh more in front God. of you, uh -huh. it's than anything. You just watch as more dirt spray, and you actually hear at this point someone yelling from very, very far off. It's like, go home. I'm just gonna stand there and raise my hands. In the middle? Yeah. In the middle of the railway? Well, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna stop. As soon as the, the shot hits. All right, and like, that's, it's, you're there, hands up. Yeah. So you guys all hear this as well, too. I'd like to call out to this guy. Okay. All right, so from my position, because yeah. at this distance, sound will not totally give me away in yeah. terms of where I am. But I'd like to yell out, we're just trying to get through the rail. We don't care about your stuff. The rail is in the middle of our stuff. Could you move it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing out here? And you can still, through your binoculars, right. Ray, you can clearly see that this man has not poked his head out. Right, right, it's you just can, the rifle. You can clearly still see the rifle barrel is through the, through the peephole, and that's it at this stage. We have no reason to move. This is our home. We're willing to trade. I'd like to do a command uh, diplomacy check. Sounds like you're bartering, you're wanting to command. Yeah. So uh, it's both at the same time. So yes. who's. Or you're both going to yell at somebody, we're willing to trade, and then what do you want to say? I'd like to make the case that we are. You want me to tell them? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we're establishing a new supply line to Livingston. <laughs> it's very important that we get through. Please, we don't care about your stuff. We don't want to hurt you. Just let us go. Let us go through. We will leave you guys alone. So, Asher, you drop oh, off your uh, handgun with Wraith as you walk over to the front, and you can actually see as you get closer. Um, hands are up. Hands are up, and you watch as, like, the, uh, there is actually a, because uh, this thing is, is several stories tall. Right? So about eight feet-ish up or so, you can actually watch as like a wooden plank, like kind of one of the ones that's part of the boarded up just kind of like comes down on chains mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and kind of like a perch. And you watch as like a spry looking Asian man kind of like steps himself up and kind of crawls up to the one of the porch and goes, what's your name? Asher Emerson Stern the <laughs> Third. All right. Asher Emerson Stern the Third. That's a fucking Yankee. Cool. <sighs> You're not coming through the home. Like, do you see that we've built a little place here? I do, it's quite nice. I'd like to make you guys an offer. You wanna to talk to the boss, huh? Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, all right, hey, why don't you have your, your friends come over here, because I really don't think uh, Jimmy wants to put any holes in anybody today. 
That would be That's nice. That's fair. Uh, could they ra wait in the rail driver instead? No. Nah, why don't you have them all come inside? I think we'll all be much, much happier if we can see all of you. Okay, and fine. there is five of you, We okay right? with that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you shut your mouth, Asher. We're all coming. Yeah, shut your mouth, Asher. I like him. Good playability, okay. Huh? Yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> all right, great. Uh, so as the four of you kind of come out from various parts of the bushes. I've just been the whole time. And walking down the rail line, you see is this, uh, this guy um, kind of like hops down onto the side of the ledges in like a single motion and like drops down as the ply board goes boom. <laughs> as he like drops down the, you know, six or so feet uh, to the bottom to where you're at. And like, all right. And you watch as he like checks his keys a little bit, rustles and grabs a, a large um, kind of a, a simple padlock key. And he goes over and starts unlocking various parts of the doors from the outside. With the same key? No, with different keys. Cool. On, a on a ring. On a ring. So he starts taking a bunch of individual keys and starts unlocking all the various padlocks as he drops it and swings the metal door <laughs> open. So, you know, you can see that the hinges are pretty reinforced against the concrete and stonework that is inside of the, uh, uh, the archway that it's on top of. <clears throat> but on the other side of it, it's just pitch black except for like a small orange glow kind of permeating from it. And he goes, welcome to Archtown. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to turn around. Are you still at I'm the up there mask? and I got eyes on you guys and I got. I'm just going to be like. Oh, he. Yeah, so he, 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 if you haven't been coming out, it goes, hey, wait, 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 wait. Your girl in the tower too. Yeah, they know you're in there. Yeah. All right. All right. <clears throat> Here I come. All right. So by the time Ray gets up to this door into Archtown, so to speak, uh, you can see a large, burly mountain man kind of a guy with a plaid lumberjack kind of tone and just a kilt with long boots that come up to his knees, as well as um, simply a couple of like, you can see that he just took metal mm. and just like wrapped it around his arms and then just laced it with a bunch of <laughs> leather. Yes. I like this And guy. you can actually see that he's got a metal <laughs> quaff around right. his neck as well too as he comes and goes, <clears throat> all right, so who do I talk to here? That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get it out, it's great. All right, so who am I really talking to here? Yeah, I know, this is my mission, this is my expedition. Uh, all right, all right, well. Look, no guns in sight, so Terry here will take all of your sidearms and your man. But don't worry, no one's going to shoot you here, all right? But we don't allow any projectile weapons inside of the town. It's a, uh, infrastructure's bad. It's also dark, really dark. I'm liking this place. He more checks and out, more. yeah. <laughs> so, leave your stuff with Terry, <clears throat> then you can come inside. I'm already out, I don't have anything, so. Right, right. So okay. as uh, this bear of a man escorts you essentially inside this town. You can see that it is a pretty small community for what is called Archtown. So as you all kind of come into this this like dark ominous abode, it looks a lot like if you had an upper class version of some kind of underground shanty, like where homeless people would have lived on the side of the freeways during the old era, but it has been plussed up a lot, and it's made to look as homey and as decorative as something like that can be. Um, a lot of the more fixed structures seem to just be uh, uh, two by fours that have been pulled up, not even posted into the ground, mm -hmm. but they're just leaning up, and the most fixed structures are actually ones that are uh, pinned into the wall of the arch. And since it's not a huge amount of space, you can see that the community probably houses 10, 15 people tops. So it's really sparse, and uh, you can kind of get it all pretty much in a glance. But again, this giant bear of a dude comes in. Yeah, this is <clears throat> this is just where we all collect for the night. We've got a few other people up and around. But um, all right, boss man, why don't you step into my office and let's talk about your <laughs> deal? Sure. All right. So uh, this guy kind of escorts you up into the main room, leaving you four essentially to go explore Archtown a little bit. Okay. 
also, I want to take a look around and see if there's any way we can actually get a train through without like destroying Yeah, destroying stuff. Destroying like, stuff. Right. maybe there's a compromise. Maybe I could help design a new door that opens up for the, for, uh -huh. the supply line or something. Yeah. Good move. Well, we can, as you're uh, looking across and kind of gathering all of this assessment, you can see that a lot of the structures that are on the rail line, I mean, it's not very comfortable. So even there's actually some shanties or some parts of the town that are just as wide as the rail. You know, so there's like a wall on one side and wall on the other side, and they've used it a little bit to prep it up. And the one thing that does uh, bother you a little bit is you can actually see where the cross beams have been pulled out, gotcha. and it's just now rail. And you can see where they clearly dug out some of the um, some of the underlying kind of loose gravel that's usually laid out for when rail track is put down has been dug out so they can pull these pieces of wood out and reuse them to build their structures. Right. So is, are most of the structures wood or is it? Like most of the structures tin? are wood and or tin or aluminum. Okay. So either sheet metal oh, yeah. or and uh, pieces of strong wood. And you can actually see some where they've used like, um, uh, they've repurposed like camping hatches that mm -hmm. would be on the top of trucks. Or there's even an old mobile home in there that seems to be actually the source of most of the power because you can hear the generator in the back turning. And can we see, sorry, can we see yeah. through it to the other side or is you, that You can see up? the end, you can definitely see the top of the end, uh -huh. which is a, essentially a mirror of the door that you okay. came through. Uh -huh. So they've, they've they block blocked it. up the other side as well too, okay. pretty well. So you're saying we could, in theory, get the train through, we just you need could. to put the, the rail cross back together. You'd have yeah. to put cross the rail back, back you have to put the cross beams back together and you would, you'd have to move some structures. Some structures. You know, not all of them, but it's, it's definitely a through line. And you can also see that they have their own hand cart that seems to be parked towards the rear entrance. If you're gonna go talk to Terry, I just wanna pull you aside real quick mm -hmm. and, and Wraith too. Mm -hmm. um, and like s keeping an eye out to see who else is listening. Mm -hmm. And I wanna, relatively private. Yeah. Um, if shit hits the fan, we can always smoke them out. That's the least amount of casualties and with the people re re being removed from the tunnel. Just something to keep in mind. Okay. So as you four are kind of assessing and looking around, you can see that a couple of people are showing interest in you. And Terry's like, yeah, man, we haven't seen anyone over from uh, the eastern states in a long time. Uh -huh. Mostly we just see the copters fly by. I don't know, man. I, yeah, no, I mean, I, I definitely would. I've heard pretty good things about the UA. And no, I mean, this is... This is a shit show out here, man. Mm -hmm. This is like, there's infected every single night when we come across. We hear them literally packing around the doors almost every night. It is terrifying out here. But have, if you've seen that little rail uh, cart of ours, it doesn't go very far before it gets nighttime. If we manage to get over here, it means we can probably get back. Only problem is we need to get through. Well, I mean... We spent a long time trying to just get this little thing secured. I don't know how the boss is going to feel about making a big old arc in the doorway, just a big old welcome inside kind of a situation. I'm well, curious how the boss is going to feel. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but uh, we got some skills. Yeah, not only that, uh, you said that you saw the helicopters coming by, right? Right. What if we had access to those helicopters and could get you safely? No shit! <laughs> Making a lot of fucking promises. I could get a ride in a fucking helicopter? Yeah, buddy. That's awesome! <laughs> oh, man! You can watch as like his excitement is, is palpable, like he's been living inside oh, of this God. dark hole for how, for no, who knows how long. Man, this smirk that he's got across his face suddenly becomes very serious. He's like, do, wait, do you guys have medicine? Mm. Uh, maybe. Sarah, Sarah! And you watch as he starts just barreling out towards over there, and you watch as he grabs a woman who is about maybe 35 or so. Get ready to be popular. Up, and he comes back and goes, do you have any, any antibiotics, any penicillin, anything? Listen, I'm unfortunately not in charge of this mission. You're gonna have to talk to the big guy. Oh yeah, make now sure you, uh, you're not, okay. Make sure you go and bug him. Oh, okay. Um, Mister, I, I respect that completely, but I've got it. I've got. Well, Sarah, you tell him, and you watch as she just has like you can tell that there is just grief in this woman's face as she turns to you and goes, "My son is sick, and we've 
Well, I don't know what he has. And if any of you are a doctor or any of you have anything on hand to maybe help my boy, he's, he's just five, okay? Uh, I didn't mean to have him, but he's here and he's with us and he's just vomiting all of the time. Yeah, he's not infected, I promise you. He hasn't been in contact with anything, but I don't know, I think he just had some bad water and it's just going through him every day. <sighs> Do you have anything? Band-Aid. Yeah. Let's just take a look. All right, I'll take a look. Okay. I'll come with you. So, Sarah escorts you over to a lean-to. That is, it. it's modest, but it's definitely insulated, and you can tell that it is, while it's extremely warm, there is a young boy of about 10 years old on the floor. He is just shivering, shivering. And um, if you want, you can make a first aid check to kind of just check the severity of what his situation is. <laughs> I hit my number. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. I've been rolling so high. It's it's fine. You hit the number, um, and you look at him, and you can. <laughs> he's he's He'll be fine. Just run around a bit. It's a kid. He'll bounce walk, back. Walk it off. Okay. So it's viral. It's probably because he's just is. He just looks like he's got not. stupid amount of dehydration. No, he's clearly is. dehydrated, yeah. and uh, he's just dripping in sweat and has a raging fever. So. You know what we need to get him? Hmm. We don't need to get him antibiotics if he's viral. We need to get this kid hydrated. Yeah, um, I think, you know what? Thank you uh, for bringing me to him. Uh, does he seem... What? Yes, what, it's, it's, what's wrong with him? Uh, it seems like he's just severely dehydrated. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, back in our machine, in the, uh, I might have an IV drip that I'd be able to. Oh my God! He can't hold down any water. Like he just—it's yeah. like it just just goes right through him. Right, right. Like, That's priority it? number one: is to get him oh, hydrated. Okay. Um, all right. Is there anything I can do, or can I help you, or to bring it over here? You know what? Let's bring him to our machine. Okay. All right. Here. And you watch as he, she kind of like grabs the boy, wraps him up in the cloak. I don't want to cause a scene. The best thing that we can do is keep this under wraps. She like kind of hands the bundle over to you cautiously, goes just anything you can do. And she just passes you the child as he is just bundled up and you can tell he's, he's in febrile, and out of consciousness. He's febrile, he's, mm. get, we gotta get him hooked up to saline right away. Um, huh. So in the meantime, you can kind of see Terry, who's just now, like, he's watching this go down, but like, that previous excitement, now he kind of has like anxiety a little bit in his mind. He's, he's looking up towards the boss's office where Asher is presumably meeting up with him. Terry, we're gonna need you to help us get, get this kid out and then back in. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, 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 this is, this is important. So, absolutely. Hey, hey, inside voice. Okay, 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 all right, all right. I'll stay at the door, and if anyone comes, I'll just knock a bunch of times and I'll just do what I can to hold them, okay? I have to ask you one more favor, Terry, and you've gotta trust us really hardcore this time. We're going out there, and we're going out there without any firearms. Can you give us back one? Oh, you're going outside of the building? Okay, yeah, all right. He hands at least um, probably Jenny's rifle uh, and her stuff back at least while he has the small arms. Are they them. coming too? Are you coming? Wraith? I was gonna. I was gonna remain. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys stay put. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll then I'll just this. give hand. Just give Bandaid his handgun back. Okay. So. Not my. Not my rest. No, because you're carrying the kid. Fair point. All right. So as you leave, you can kind of see Terry just nervously hanging by the door, checking himself every once in a while um, as we go up into the top with um, all of uh, <clears throat> all the Bear Man and the Asher speak. So, <clears throat> so what are you doing in my little arch town? Well. Uh, actually, first let me introduce myself. I'm Asher Emerson Stern. All right, III. Asher Emerson Stern the Third. Nice to meet you. Likewise, and I didn't catch your name. You can call me Bear. Bear. Fantastic. Well, Bear, we uh, we're setting up a supply line here right. over to the Livingston community. They just had the line uh, from Chicago get knocked out. Who the so hell is the them. Livingston community? You guys have been out here for a while, I take it. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, here's what we need. We need to ideally get through here on through the train. Through here to where? Out in the middle of butt fucking nowhere? Out toward Kansas City. Shit. That's Kansas, where we're headed. You know that place is unreclaimable, right? I do, yeah. Uh, 
All right, I don't get why you want to go to Kansas City, but you can't go through my town. We're ending just shy of Kansas City before things get bad. And we're looking to carve a path out west to make this area more safe. If, if there is a functioning supply line through this area, however we end up doing it, that does mean your town and your people will have access to medical supplies, food, water, better infrastructure that you would never get any other way. So I'd be open to allowing you partial ownership of this leg of the rail, allowing you to collect tolls and Whoa. have some autonomy. Well, here's the reality of the situation. One, I don't give a shit about your UA laws of reacclimation. This is my town, this is my part, but I am interested in food and medicine and a trade route. So here's what we're gonna do, Asher. Yeah, sure. You're gonna barter and bribe with this guy a little bit. I've still bit got one success. To see if you got your deal a little bit. So he's, <clears throat> he's essentially going to ask you for first right of refusal on the first leg of goods as part as this town goes, which means that he is going to want to get the best stuff first since he's essentially the first leg of this trip. And you'll be able to negotiate, for all intents and purposes, how much of that he has access to as far as barter and trade goes. And it's actually we're uh, opposing, so I'm going to roll his stuff. And <clears throat> essentially, mine will cancel out yours. And we're just going to do this in one roll. All right. All right. 46. Against My your barter bribe. bar is 45. Cool. 45. And I have this degree of success <coughs> that I banked. <clears throat> yep, that you banked it from the round. So, I think you guys struck a very favorable deal in your side of matters. So you basically Thanks, are going to be able to get access to this line of the road. He will make the appropriate changes necessary to Archtown in order to have the train go through. And even though he's getting first pick, it's of only limited quantity of items. So he can't overbuy and hoard and resell essentially, so to speak. So you gave him first right of refusal on items, but only to a limited quantity. This is a total win on your circumstances. All right, well, we'll make it happen. Thank you for your time, oh, Asher thank you. Emerson Sterling. Very understanding. So, uh, oh, that's my name. what uh, what can we think about for a uh, down payment? Down payment. All right, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you had me going there. <laughs> All right. Let's get you and your team through this. We got a lot of moving to do. All right. So um, you guys take. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, absolutely, Jenny and Wraith. You can uh, you can actually see there's a lot of people who are roaming around in part of this. Is a, a again a couple of limited families, but you can see that there is definitely a couple of um, rag and bone men kind of mm. barter trader types that have a couple of random items that I can make available in a resource catalog if you want to spend survival points for them. But they all essentially seem to be um, either like Terry here, who is a little bit of a gatherer in his own right, but even more interesting, there's an old woman who, Wraith, you probably immediately gravitate towards. Uh -huh. And uh, she of age and wisdom of age and wisdom, <laughs> but she mostly gets your attention because she turns to you from her rocking chair that she kind of propped on the mm -hmm. porch of her lean to, and she goes, "You there, boy? You have the mark of the devil, it appears. What are you doing?" Maybe devil stuff, old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Our little charmer. Well, <laughs> you've got the mouth of the serpent as well, too. You're going to bring death to this place. I can see it. I can feel it in my bones. I don't need to bring it. It's already here. You stink of it. There's something about you I don't like. You can sense it. I can. Be. I can feel it as if there's some kind of weight upon you that you carry a lot with you as if you sold your soul to something more devious than anyone else has to deal with. That was long ago. I've made many amends since then. A man like you doesn't make amends. He just creates more. That's what you do when you deal with Satan. He doesn't give the deal back. He just makes the contract longer. And she watches, she gets out of her chair and slams the door behind her. <laughs> I look disturbed. <laughs> oh my God. 
Uh, so Asher, you come down from Bear's Hovel, so to speak, and you meet up with Jenny and Wraith, who are still kind of hanging around. At Wraith looks like he just had an awkward encounter with a local. Uh, Bear, the burly fellow who runs this place, uh, agreed to let us bring the rail through in return for first pick of goods. And uh, yeah, we simply make the modifications necessary to the town and the rail itself, and we will be on our way. It's gonna take about a day. To modify? To modify, in order to get the rail driver through. So. Can we get the rail driver closer to the door? Absolutely. Okay. Because we don't know what you just said. We're right. somewhere else. Where are uh, Bandit and Yeah, the other you know, one? <sighs> look, there was this kid who was really sick. And, okay. um, you know, they, they took him back to the rail driver and they're just, they're hydrating him. So, uh, we're using medical supplies yes, on the locals. Yes, we are. We are. I thought it would be, you know, an act of charity, something to get them on our side. But you did that, so good job. What does the kid have? Um, I'm not sure, a viral infection. Okay, I'd like to go out to the rail driver and have okay. a look. So Asher kind of comes into the rail driver. Oh, well, okay. You know, as, yeah. he, uh, as he kind of as pops up, per his you. what he suggested, and sees, you know, the, the boy laid out, and he's now. Yeah, actually, I wanted to have a quick moment with that, too. Oh, please, yes. Um, when we brought him in, uh, I wanted to have you set him down, mm -hmm. and then I want to spend survival points to get an IV drip. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm actually going to hand you the drip, and I'm like, can you set this up? And Absolutely. then I'm going to start examining the kid, but I'm keeping an eye on Ray. Okay. Yeah. Is the kid conscious? Barely. In and out? Yeah, in and out. The fever's, he's moaning. Okay. He has, he's essentially dealing with an immense amount of pain and fever okay. at mm -hmm. the moment. I'm going to talk to him while we're going. Just okay. Keep him so if you away. set up the IV, then I'll uh, administer like the procedure of putting it in. Put right. line in. Cool. Um, so, sweetie, what's your name? Tim. Tim. That's a good name. That's a good strong name. Tim, we're just gonna do some some tests here and give you some medicine to make you feel better. Is that okay, sweetie? Mom says I'm not supposed to get help from strangers. Uh -huh, but we're not strangers. We talked to your mom. Okay. I'm band -aid. <laughs> With a name like that, he can probably fix you up, don't you think? I like that name. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Ray. You're pretty, Ray. Thank you. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> hey, funny. <laughs> oh. You got the same name? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a great personality. It's in. Oh, it hurts. Um, I know it hurts, sweetie. Hey, do you think that we can give you a little medicine by your mouth? Do you need any aspirin? Get try. this fever down? It might be a little too acidic for his stomach who hasn't had isn't anything to eat. I've been probably. There's a, yeah, there should be Advil in there, too, or some kind of... I'm gonna see if I can find what, acetaminophen? Yeah, or well, ibuprofen. Well, ibuprofen. Yeah, ibuprofen. ibuprofen. Yeah, yeah, for the fever. So, yes. you, yeah, he takes the medicine, you can we tell. Can, like, crush it up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, yeah. 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 So, you may mix it in water and yeah. let him drink it. Um, at this at this point, then, that's the moment that I Yeah, be so it's, he's <laughs> taking the IV, it's dripping, you can drink. You can actually see, even in just a few minutes while Asher is coming in, that, the, Most of the time, that it's, it's, it's helping the fever a lot. Like, this kid has had nothing. Is anyone wanting to help clear? Because obviously, someone's going to be watching Tim right. here in the center, but is anyone going to be helping speed along the process? Of... Can we also just get the rail driver closer to the tank? Absolutely. Can we, can we yeah, do that? That's anyway? without any issue. Okay, you awesome. can, the, the, the heater's been running. Okay. So you can move it without any any real problems. So yeah. once I've got the thing closer up yeah. to the door, yeah. I'll pop out and help them inside. All right, so let's have you three all make, um, in best case, engineering checks. And for you two who are just, pre pre yeah, go ahead. One thing too, before we get into that, I wanna go to Jenny yeah. and say, we're going to start clearing all this, yes? Mm -hmm. It's better if you do the clearing for this woman's house and that I not do it. She won't trust me. If I change things on her house, she'll, she'll think I'm trying to wreck oh, it. Man. Okay. <laughs> I'll do two other houses. If you do this one. <laughs> oh, deal. I like that. Right. So for manual labor, lift and pull, and for engineering, engineering. Let's uh, let's check on this because this is just going to help modify the time a little bit. Okay. So thirteen. Mm -hmm. I rolled a six. Degrees of success, degrees of failure. Uh, that's going to be three. Where are you at here? Yeah, three success. Okay, and uh, Jenny and Rafe? Three success. I've got one degree of failure. 
Okay. If you wanted to help, I could t watch the kid. The only one will be the side. Okay. Never mind. So between six degrees minus one for a degree of failure, I actually am happy to report that between your three help, you can actually get this thing done in half a day. You could be out by tomorrow morning. Fantastic. Turning this thing from a 24-hour job into an 18-hour job. To kind of tidy this mission up a little bit, you essentially did a modification to a stronghold, which in this circumstance, I'm going to give you a bonus 25 survival points for to get into it. So um, we'll modify Sick. that here. That's uh, 25, so you now have 50. Uh, Minus any you've spent, yeah? Minus any that may have been spent, and you still have 405 inside of the rail driver at this stage. You also helped a kid, mm -hmm. and he, at this point, even 24 hours, his fever broke through the middle of the night with the medicine and the hydration, and by the next morning, you were able to deliver her back to Sarah with a huge amount of improvement as far as ability goes, and she can't even begin to thank you. Sarah? So now, you can pick the rail driver up in the morning to be able to take it towards Eureka, which will begin in the next episode.